Hey Morningstar, this past weekend was bittersweet as it was our long-standing worship arts director's last weekend. And as Mark Roach has done for nearly 16 years, he once again provided a, a great mix and balance of sacred and secular music, uh, upbeat and fun, countdown cover tunes, as well as reverent transcendent worship music, which all of, all of which, friends, can actually be worshipful because it's not just about what we sing, but more the attitude and focus and direction of everything we do in, in worship, um, honoring God, lifting it up toward him. And I want to thank you. I want to thank you for all the ways in which you honored Mark uh, and, 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 and said thank you for all the ways that he's helped uh, point you and focus your worship upward, vertically, as he likes to say, to God. And I know that, that Mark and his whole family felt truly blessed by the outpouring and support of your love. So what's next for us here at Morningstar? And that question kind of feels like, uh, as a University of Kentucky fan, asking about a basketball program. Uh, this past basketball season, the Wildcats achieved a record of 38 wins and zero losses before losing their one and only game in the Final Four. And just Two weeks ago, seven of their top players, seven of their top players decided not to come back to college next year, but to enter the professional NBA draft. So much for the fan favorite phrase, there's always next year. Now, most head coaches would probably be losing their mind at having to replace seven of their top people, but, but Kentucky head coach John Calipari's learned over the years how to reload his teams because losing players to the NBA is a frequent occurrence. So he's learned that he has to recruit better than any coach in college basketball. And so despite losing his most talented players, some of the most talented players in all of college basketball this past year, he knows that his team will be right in the thick of March Madness again next year. Now at Morningstar, while we've gone out and we've hired the best national search firm to help us identify this person who's going to come in and give servant leadership to this new position we've created, a new position that's actually combining our worship arts and our communications departments. Even though we've gone out and hired the very best, that's not where my hope and confidence is placed. My faith is in God because during 26 years of ministry, especially, especially the past 16 here at Morningstar, God has demonstrated his faithfulness and provision time and again that God is a God of abundance who can be counted on to do immeasurably more, abundantly more than we could ever ask or imagine, as Paul writes in Ephesians 3.20. Hey, you know what? My faith is also in you, God's people here at Morningstar, people who are first and foremost committed to the mission and vision that God has given us as a church. Our mission to form fully devoted followers of Jesus Christ by meeting people right where they are and helping them take next steps on their spiritual journeys. And a vision to partner with the Spirit of God to be a Christ-centered community of imperfect people connecting other imperfect people to the perfect love of God. Hey, those are the three things that I'm most committed to in my ministry here at Morningstar. Being sold out to God, and then to the mission and vision that I wholeheartedly believe that God has given us. You know what? Someday, someday when it's my time to kind of move on, um, something I hope doesn't happen for another 15 or 20 years, I know that this great church is going to be reloaded in a way that it's going to be positioned for another great season because the church is ultimately not my baby. It's the bride of Christ. And God has, is, and will continue to lead us into a future of touching and transforming individual lives for eternity. Hey, Morningstar, I don't know where each of you are, what each of you are going through today. But, you know, change and transition is part of life for each of us. So I know you're going through something. My, my encouragement is stay humbled before God. Seek his guidance. Trust in his provision and be ready, be expectant for a breakthrough. Because with God, there's always a next year, a next day, a next moment in which we can place our hope because of him. So as always, be the church this week. And I'll see you in worship this weekend as we continue with this new message series, Insomnia, so we can all sleep better at night. God bless you.